And right now I'm here with Mike Winter, the president of Institute for Principal Studies. This is an awesome conservative organization. I'm personally taking his class on Monday night and I am blown away. Well, don't hear it from me, hear it from Mike. Talk to us about your organization. Why are you here? Our organization exists really to teach principles of good government. And we focus on government and economics and really to some degree on history as well. Yeah, and we too often, history. Well, we do. And history tells us a lot about the mistakes that have been made before. You know, they say if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it. And frankly, in America, we are beginning to repeat some bad history. Don't tell me about it. I'm from the former Soviet Union, and I'm waking up in, at night with the flashbacks about the, my communist past where I hear the same rhetoric in the current administration, it just blows my mind. Mike, uh, you know where the young uh, Campus Liberty movement were trying to engage young people. How your organization would engage younger generation here? How, how would it appeal to them? Well, we do a lot of work with high school and college students in different places. And, you know, our main objective is just giving them principles and concepts they've never heard before. Now, we don't entertain, but what we do is we show them things that they don't know, and amazing, they're interested because they see the older generation making a lot of mistakes, uh, assuming socialism. And what's interesting is the young people understand contradictions. Oftentimes, the older leadership, especially on the conservative side of, of our nation, has inconsistent positions. And those inconsistencies are shooting them in the foot. And we're there showing these kids, here's a consistent view of the proper role of government. Yeah, and I absolutely agree. I mean, I was a conservative before I came to your class, and what it did, it didn't re really change my mind, but really organized my thinking. I mean, it just connected all the dots for me, and I would really encourage younger people to take it. But uh, we're here for this, uh, you know, it's a global warming controversy event. Brian Sussman, he has his new book, yep. uh, Climate Gate, where he exposes the global warming hoax. Well, tell me, what do you think about that? Well, I believe global warming is a hoax, and we've had hoax after hoax. When I was younger, we had the ozone crisis, and I remember when I was in junior high that we had teachers in the public schools in junior high telling us that we had an ice age that was coming because of all the pollution we were spewing into the environment. Oh my goodness, this is like 180 now. Now it's warming. Yeah, you know, so, I mean, they need a crisis, and here's the deal in politics. If you understand politics, you have to understand that people do not adapt or take on political change unless there's a problem. So they have to manufacture problems. And by manufacturing a problem, you get people to accept political solutions that they would not accept otherwise. That's exactly what they did in the Soviet Union. They create crisis. And in Germany, they always, you know, like when the economy goes into the recession, that's when the tyranny comes up and that's where they try to overpower, right? Yeah. And uh, Rahm Emanuel, he just said, don't let any uh, crisis go to waste, right? Isn't what they're doing right now with this global warming? That's right. The action is in the reaction. And oftentimes, don't look at what the news stories are in, in the country. Look at how we're reacting to those news stories. And that's usually how we lose our liberties, is by reaction to crises or events that, frankly, are not as big a crisis as they would have us believe. Awesome. Mike, uh, we have like hundreds of people looking right now, viewing this video, and they think, oh my goodness, I love this guy, I love what this organization is doing, how they're changing lives of hundreds of people in America, they're just organizing their thinking, they're firing them up. Uh, how do they get involved in the organization? Well, they can go to our website, which is principalstudies.org. Uh, that's P-R-I-N-C-I-P-L-E. We'll link it. We'll link to that. It's going to be in the bottom right there. Good. And our phone number, they can call us, area code 209-575-2005. Okay, thank you so much. And also, they can also donate, right, online? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, Mike, thank you so much for thank coming. You. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.